Is this the best format we've had so far in the two days? I'm liking it. This is fun. It works. I'm totally relaxed. Um, yeah, it's working for me. The chairs are really good. I think it has to do with that. Yeah, the chairs like protect chairs you. You're in yeah, a little you feel a bit safe. A little yeah, safe. It's true. It's and working. you can snip this all up. You got three cameras. And the questions are good. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> I'm Jerry Seinfeld. Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted, where I will ask Renee Zellweger questions, and she will ask me questions about our movie, B-Movie, and also your questions will also be asked and answered right here on AOL Unscripted. Scared of you and what you're going to ask me. We're going to start. Let's start with a question that I have for Renee. Oh, that's fair. Ready? Oh, wait. No, can we start with Caitlin from Pensacola, Florida? Just okay, we'll start with Caitlin. Thanks. Caitlin in Pensacola, Florida, which is a delicious drink. Have you ever had Pensacola? No, I can't say that I have. It's a thoughtful cola. Is that right? It's pensive, but fizzy. I see, I see. Um, okay, so the question is, so you drink it and you think it. The question is, is it true you guys were all in the recording studio? You guys, you were all in the recording studio together on this movie, and what was the best part of that process? First of all, is it true? Where did she hear this? I don't know. I guess maybe there was a blog or something. Somebody right. Was telling. Blog. Worst <laughs> word of the 21st century. Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty tricky. Anyway, okay. Um, what was it? You were there all the time. Me, you and I, I we, stopped we, in we once in a while. Together. Yes, that's true. We were talking about how it was like Renee was kind of like an out of state relative. That's it. That's it. Are you in the West? I'm on the West Coast too. You should come over. Come on, come over. I'll come over. So Renee would come over. And he'd order some fruit. Yeah. And he'd have it waiting there. This is the first time that I've actually had. Uh, have done this with the writer, director, be the co-star, and be present. That helps. That makes a big difference. Because you know what you're looking for. And then I can see on your face that you're coming up with something else and you're about to throw me a curveball and here it comes. And then he'll throw the line out a little bit differently and so I'll respond a little bit differently and then you'll hit back a little bit differently and it comes alive. It's just, it's more fun that way. All right, Kevin from Richmond. Virginia, why is it taking so long for you to do a starring role in a movie after Seinfeld? We all want to know. I get this question why a lot. Why has it taken so long? First what have you been all, doing? Is it, is it not enough product out there, Kevin, for you? Not enough movies? Not enough TV? The, with the internet on top of it? Are you sitting around twiddling your thumbs? Do you really need me? I don't know why. I, because... Uh, I suppose because I'm old, I'm rich, and I'm tired. <laughs> That's probably the reason it took so long. Because you didn't have to? I didn't have to. Well, you probably haven't found anything that just made you feel like, I really want to leave my house with my children and right. my beautiful wife. Right. And now you kind of did. You found a thing that was inspiring that made you want to... Mm. I didn't have to really leave either. Uh, you have a point there. That was another good part of it. You wrote it in the house. Yeah. It's helpful. But um, this took a long time to make. Also, Kevin, I've been doing this for four years, so I really only slacked off for six years. But you were probably thinking about it in that two-year period where you didn't have pen to paper. Really? No? no. Not at all? No. 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 I had already signed the deal to make this movie, and I still didn't have an idea for it. Renee, I have a question for you. I'm scared. I'm very scared. You ready? I don't know. No, don't. Just don't. Okay. How do you do it? Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. That's it. That's my question. Um, How do you do it? It's a really good question. You know, and my answer to that is, um, I just do. Someone, did you get the guy, you know, we talk with different journalists and these things. Did you have the guy ask you the question, describe yourself in three, your life in three words? Did you no, get we that didn't guy? get to that question because I'm verbose. So I go off on it? a tangent about you for six hours, and then we're done. I'm sorry, I can't talk about my life. <laughs> and another thing about Jerry, just before we move on. Um, no, I, I, could I do it? I did it. What, give me your words. What were your words? I am here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all I can think of. That's really good. See, that's why you do what you do. All right. Okay, we have another question here from Angie in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is a good question, I think. Oh, what boy. type of character would you have wanted to play on a Seinfeld episode? 
And don't say a Jerry girlfriend, because that's too easy. No, it wouldn't be a Jerry girlfriend. It would be a Kramer girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I Those think I would want to be a Kramer girlfriend. Yeah, that's more of an acting challenge. But you know, like um, uh, Andy Kaufman's girlfriend in uh, uh, Taxi? Played by the wonderful Carol um, Kane? Yep. Can you do this every day for me? Yes. Can you come to all of my I can. interviews and. With you? Finish your sentences? Yes, please. So the question. The question. The girl, yeah, because Which, I thought oh, Carol is. Yeah, that was I, a good answer. I loved her. She rec- she showed Carol up King. every now and then, right? And there were other right. people who came and went, but she always showed up, and she was that. I would love to have been right. the weirdo down the hall girl yeah. or the weirdo down the block girl who kind of shows up and don't quite get her. Yeah, don't get but her. you had already don't really get her. busted out, movie star. You didn't call. Person. Don't make excuses. No, we didn't. You didn't call ever, not once, ever. <laughs> Here's an interesting thing. Renee moved to New York how many years ago? Five? Uh, no. Four? Uh, three? Three. Three now, yeah. Three years mm-hmm. ago. Mm-hmm. And then I was making this movie, and a lot of times I have to be in L.A. So <laughs> my wife and I, we went looking for a house to rent in L.A. to stay in, and we found this house. We liked the house. We rented the house. And guess whose house it was? That's Renee's. my house. It was my house and had a very nice conversation on the telephone with oh, your wife yes. about all the problems with the house. Oh, also God, the plumbing. Also an unforgettable conversation. Oh, boy. If you and love plumbing. I'm telling you, you've picked a good one. You'll never be bored. <laughs> Not ever. In that refrigerator. Yeah. Whew, keep some towels under the sink. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Old, ugly towels that you have right. no affection for. <laughs> that you won't miss, say, when the refrigerator leaks for the 20th time and you have to throw them out. Um, and a 50-gallon Airwick drum. And how about that fun little, uh, fun little tidbit of, uh, of uh, trivia here? That the house was infested. That fireplace that's in that front room? Yeah. Thousands of bees when I moved in. I didn't know that. Thousands and thousands of bees. Thank God that room has a door. That's all I have you to say. You never told me that. Ah! <laughs> yeah, infested. Oh Isn't that funny? There you go. That's really amazing. A little bit of B-movie trivia for you. Cherry moved into a B-infested house. And you house. know who's staying in the house now? Oh, no. Did you get, you moved out? No, huh? I still have it. But Simon Smith, our director, mm-hmm. needed a place to stay. And now he's there. Landlord's mad. He's mad. No subletting. He's in the contract. It's not he's subletting. He just told. Tell him. You're in trouble. Ooh. Okay, so anyway, Jerry, Tim in Carson City uh, wants to know what the worst job is that you've had before you were famous. What was that? Um, I've done this joke before. I'll do it again. Comedians love to repeat jokes. Um, and this is, it's a joke, but it's also a true story. One of the jobs I had when I was starting out here in New York as a comedian was I was a telephone light bulb salesman. And I would call numbers at random. A telephone light and sell, bulb? And, and I had a standard pitch that I had to read. And I would try to sell people light bulbs over the phone. And I can tell you... There's not a lot of people sitting home in the dark going, I can't hold out much longer. You have but, a point. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the worst jobs. <laughs> I can't even believe that somebody would stay on the phone long enough to have you uh, go through the explanation of what it is. It that was you're a terrible thing. You would tell them that you were a Vietnam veteran, you would tell them that your friend has cancer, you would t- say these awful things to get the hook the people. Shame on, on you. The fo- I know it was terrible. I didn't. Shame I didn't do the you. bad stuff. I. I didn't say that bad stuff. So how do you know about it then? Were you in a room full? They gave of me the script. I said I'm not saying, saying that. <laughs> Even then, I was really? directing. The yeah. book on how to manipulate. Yeah. The poor little lady who's sitting in the dark at home, yeah. praying right. that someone would call with someone some light bulbs. With some light bulbs. <laughs> oh. Oh, we have an that. outro. Thank God. All right. Well, thank you everyone for being with us here in AOL Unscripted. It's been. Fun chatting with uh, Renee Zellweger, our, who we thank for being on the show and uh, for her glittering, spectacular performance in B-Movie, our new movie. And uh, we want to thank you for your questions and for being part of our show. And uh, we won't be seeing you again next week because we're leaving. <laughs> but you enjoy whatever it is you do. Bye-bye.
And they just keep schlepping this guy back and forth on these rails. I'm telling you, I'm wondering, does he, is, does he need a Dramamine yet? I can't decide. I'm thinking ginger ale for this guy <laughs> right here. <laughs>